Hey, what's happening, folks? This is the Fantasy Sports Boss here again to uh, discuss some uh, happenings around the world of fantasy football and fantasy sports in general. But I want to jump on today because uh, I posted a take on Twitter about Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts being uh, a running back who occasionally throws the football. And, you know, a couple of guys uh, got butt hurt by the uh, comment and immediately hit back and said it was a horrible take. And I find that really interesting because uh, if you were to just go on passing acumen alone and rank Jalen Hurts among the rest of the quarterbacks in the NFL just on throwing the football, efficiency and ability to throw and complete passes, Hurts would probably be in the bottom 10 to 12 in the entire NFL. And if you're suggesting otherwise, you're completely foolish. And then the guy comes, which I did point out, and then they come back and say to me, well, what about Lamar Jackson? What about uh, Kyla Murray? First of all, Lamar Jackson uh, had an MVP season in his second year in the NFL, and he put up a 36 to 6 touchdown interception ratio while completing 66% of his passes. Let's see Jalen Hurts complete 66% of his passes, uh, or even 62% of his passes, uh, while also tossing 36 touchdowns and only six interceptions. Interceptions, what Lamar Jackson has already done. Then he followed it up by, with a 26 9 TD interception ratio with a 64% completion rate. And then last year tried to carry the team uh, while also battling injury and been virtually having no running game t- uh, to speak of with J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards going out injured for the season before the first game was even played. And as far as Kyle Murray, he's got a 70 to 34 TD INT ratio, a 66.9 career completion rate. And in one of, and at his height, he de- he definitely deserves bonus points on top of all that. So Kyle Murray and Lamar Jackson are much better p- uh, pure passers than Jalen Hurts is right now, who tossed 22 touchdowns with 13 interceptions and completed 59% of his passes a year ago, which was pathetic and one of the worst marks in the NFL. And the Philadelphia Eagle coaching staff themselves, they went from a preferred passing scheme early in the season and they saw that Hertz couldn't adequately... uh, uh, pass muster, pardon the pun, as a as a thrower of the football, and then they went to one of the most run heavy offenses in the league, and then the team took off when they went to the run heavy aspect of the game. And so their own coaching staff was not sold on Hertz being able to help the team and carry them by throwing the football. And as a matter of fact, the Eagles really publicly have not completely gotten behind Jalen Hurts. They have brought in weapons for him this year, and there's really no excuses this year for Hurts. If he doesn't put up even the somewhat gaudy passing numbers with A.J. Brown joining Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard um, and and with pass-catching running backs like Kenneth Gainwell and Miles Sanders out of the backfield, then then, then basically the proof is in the pudding in, in terms of Hertz and his inability to be uh, a passer that can carry a team and help it. You know, the, when when the running game gets bottled up, that he can put the offense on his shoulders. Gardner Minshew played very well when he got into the lineup last year, and Dallas Goddard loved having Minshew as his quarterback because he went nuts. Uh, against the New York Jets when Minshew got the start last season when Hertz was out injured. So, again, I don't know what the shock is by me saying that he's a running back that occasionally throws a football. Sure, it was, it was sarcastic, but it's not entirely uh, inaccurate because Hertz, I will give him this, is right there with Jackson and Murray as the best rushing quarterback in the NFL, and that's where he made his hay in fantasy football. It was running the football, not throwing it. Jackson made his hay throwing it and running it. 36 passing touchdowns, so don't give me Lamar Jackson. Kyler Murray, 66%, nearly 67% completion rate. 70 touchdown passes to 34 interceptions. Kyler Murray is a much more uh, effective passer than is Jalen Hurts. Not to the degree of Lamar Jackson. I don't think Murray is in Jackson's tier, um, but but I think he's definitely better than Hurts. So, Again, this could go all wrong for Jalen Hurts. I think anybody who drafts him this year has got some trepidation in the back of their mind about that this could go all wrong and the Eagles coaching staff can pull the plug. They are not wed to Jalen Hurts. They have not handed him a big money extension. They are completely taking this season as a wait and see approach to see if Hurts can be the guy. Again, Hurts is made for fantasy football. This is not a knock on his fantasy football uh, potential. When you could rush for almost a thousand yards as a quarterback, like Hertz can and, and very well might do this season, anything you do passing the football is going to be gravy. Can he throw 25 touchdowns? Yes, I think he could. And with all that, those rushing numbers, uh, that Hertz would have a very, very, very good season fantasy wise. But NFL wise, throwing the football, 
again, Hurts is is one of the worst in the NFL. And if you're going to argue that that point is not accurate, then I don't know what to tell you. You need to watch more football. So that was my take on Jalen Hurts. I just wanted to get that out there because that bothered me. Now, the other thing today, Deshaun Watson, the NFL now will appeal the six-game suspension that federal retired federal judge Sue Robinson handed down. This is what I was afraid of because now things are going to get messy. It's going to get ugly. Watson uh, said he will sue the NFL if they try to appeal. The NFL feeling pressure from uh, quite a few factions across uh, uh, across not only the industry, but among women and, and uh, victims advocates, they are in a tough bind. So Roger Goodell, still scarred by the Ray Rice issue, uh, is appealing the ruling. And, you know, rumors began to percolate weeks ago that Goodell wanted him suspended for the whole season. So it'll be interesting to see where we go here. Maybe he goes for eight or nine games instead, but... Watson's not having anything, you know, not having anything to do with that. Neither is Rusty Hart and his attorney. And so on and on we go. Now, if this is being challenged and this now gets caught up in court cases, Watson may be able to play an entire season while it goes through the court system and then it's pushed off to next year. So, you know, so that's something to watch. We saw that with Tom Brady during the flake gate. It was put off for an entire season and then Brady eventually had to, to uh, uh, you know, serve the four games uh, for the defl- uh, deflate gate scandal. So, you know, this is, this isn't a good situation and it's not going to be, it's not going to help anybody, uh, for all involved. So, um, not looking forward to seeing what happens here, but anyway, uh, that was my take on that. Um, nothing really major happening around the NFL today besides those two, uh, besides the Watson item, which is the big one. And then the Hertz one, which is I personally just wanted to touch on today. Uh, oh, and as far as if I'm drafting Hurts, I've already said that I'm fading him. You could get Trey Lance so much cheaper and who has pretty much the same type of game as Hurts. And you'll say, oh, well, you know, Jalen Hurts Jalen Hurts is much more proven. All right, well, you know, last summer at this time, Jalen Hurts was in the same spot as Trey Lance. And, you know, he, he turned out to have a pretty good season uh, as a runner, somewhat as a passer. So... Trey Lance, who showed glimpses in the t- when he was on the field last year that he can be this similar type of player, is going you know three or four rounds cheaper than Jalen Hurts. So Lance is the better buy. So that's why oh, that alone I would not buy Jalen Hurts. But anyway, so that's my take on those two topics. Uh, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when we, uh, myself or um, m- you know my teammates there go live. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Rotoboss, and uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Take care, everybody.